Definitely been a minute since I've been here on Forza 7 for sure. But we're getting three man tandems. It's a BRZ sandwich. Two BRZs, two S15s, and Chelsea didn't know if it's in the mix. What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit, and we are here on Forza Motorsports 7. It's been a minute since I've been on Motorsports 7 just because I've been doing a lot of project cars and stuff like that. So we are here today to get some tandems with some randoms. We're going to throw it down in uh, probably maybe an open drift session just to uh, shake off the bugs and try and get my wheel to feel right. Uh, I did notice that there was a bit of a change when I updated my wheel, so I'm not sure if maybe Forza changed or if maybe just the wheel update. We are going to be ripping this S15 that I've been playing around with here um, for today, but before we get started, I know a few of you guys have noticed on Twitter and Instagram that I uh, teased about something. So what I did tease about was actually this right here. So if you guys noticed... It looks very similar to the horn plate for an NRG wheel. This is the prototype my brother and I have been working on. So we've been trying to figure out how to make basically a horn delete plate that replicates the horn plate of an NRG wheel with my logo in it. So we've been finalizing designs, getting everything to uh, fit how I want it to, to get basically that final product, which you see right here the evil rabbit 07 on the wheel it basically is a horn delete plate and i've been working with him to try to get it designed how i want it and best way to have it possibly done so that we can uh get a bunch of them here maybe give some away on the channel as well as um maybe uh put some up for you guys to buy if you want so like i said this was the prototype of it it came out uh, a lot better on the actual uh print base i did color in the with a uh, paint pen on the white so like i said these are coming very soon if you guys would like to get a horn, basically an Evil Rabbit horn delete plate for your wheel setup for basically any 70 millimeter hub. If you have like a grip royale style, which has the hole here and here, we do have a setup for that as well. We've been going through to make spacer rings and everything to basically be able to give them as a complete set so that uh, everybody can put one of these on their wheel if they want. So we're going to get into the game, do a little slide, have a little fun with the S15 and uh, well... Basically, see if we can get back to it here on Forza Motorsport 7. So we are going to try to find a multiplayer session here for today. We are going to be running um, our normal H-Pattern Shifter with... Uh, oh, we got to get, uh, get our screen turned on there. There we go. We got our Drift Dash on. And we're going to see if we can find a decent open drift meetup. Gotta get our gloves on for the Alcatara suede wheel. And I'm not sure. I believe this is the one that I have saved for Forza 7. So we're gonna see if we can't find maybe a good track to run. Maple Valley short in the uh, dry. All right, I feel like we can get down with this S15 here. Adjust my seat a little bit. So if you guys watched FT round one, do you guys agree with the calls that were made? Do you disagree? If you guys like the new cars and stuff like that, I'd be very curious to know what you guys think down below about round one of FD, as well as let me know what you guys think of those horn delete plates. Do you guys like them? Do you think you would be interested in having one? I'd be very curious to know. Because I'm thinking about giving some away on the channel, as well as putting them up for people to buy if they want. Um, but they're really cool. It gets rid of you know, the actual um, area where you would have a horn. If Most of us don't run horns on our sim rigs, so it kind of... It replicates that horn ring that you would put on there. So it's kind of a cool additive. Makes my wheel look, you know, a little bit nicer from in my aspect. So we're going to join in. We're going to go shred this. See how this works. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the cobwebs are not too bad right now. Once we decide to load in. Like I said, I've been working on this S15 a little bit, kind of working the bugs on it, um, and uh, try, kind of liking the way the S15 runs. So definitely thinking about switching up some chassis here. Yep. All right, we are good. We're just going to go. 
Oh, we are in the wrong preset. We are definitely in the wrong preset. There we go. Just kick it in. We were in the wrong steering wheel preset. I was on my preset for uh, Project Cars 2. That would have been really bad. So like I said, the wheel does feel a little bit different to me. It felt a lot lighter. So I've, I've adjusted my uh, feedback settings on my actual wheel. And I'm not sure if maybe that was just the firmware update that I did on my wheel that caused it to feel that way. Or if maybe it was an update with the game that I missed. But this S15 is getting down. Just a little grass drop. We're good. We good. I'm trying to throw this in. Why is my smoke? What happened there? Please tell me you saw that smoke just get all crazy weird on me. So we just clutch kick it in, maybe a little e-brake. Man's definitely on the controller, you can tell. I'm gonna try and not throw it in with him though. Ooh, there we go. Oh, too much grass. Too much grass in the front. Front tires of this car does not like grass. We're able to save it though. So for all you guys that were asking why I used to run sequential to mimic a dog box, I run an H pattern for you today. I think we're just going to. Oh! Sorry, my dude. Oh! I'm going to try and get in with these guys. That was a really bad initiation. That's better. Definitely been a minute since I've been here on Forza 7 for sure. But we're getting three-man tandems. It's a BRZ sandwich. Two BRZs, two S15s, and Chelsea didn't know if it's in the mix. Oh, this is getting rowdy now that Chelsea's in here. Throw ourselves in. We may switch up to the ESDA vet here as well. Ooh, boy. That's the team bought it. Ow. Sorry, man. I think this S15 is not set up the best for this track. That man's in the middle. Oh, we got the Nova banging on our door. Okay. We got a fleet of cars behind us, though. Oh, too much grass, love. Is that, a, is that a Porsche? Is that MLZ? Wrong color. This man's just ripping a GT3 in here. Try right, not to wreck into him. We may have to bust out the usual suspects ESDA vet. Guy's glitching all over the place, too. Dude is just smoking his brake rotors. He was just hardcore left foot brake. Woo. All right, let's go. In. I think we're gonna switch up to the vet. Oh, as we die. Back to the pits. Let's bust out the ESDA vet. 
So, definitely been a minute since I've been drifting here on Forza Motorsport 7. I think the last time I drifted on 7 was actually SSR round 5? The Long Beach round that I did in SSR. I think it was the last time I've been on Forza drifting. So, it's definitely been a few. It's definitely got to shake the cobwebs off a little bit. And, uh, get back into the game a little more. So, now we're going to go bust out that 667 horsepower bumped it up one didn't want that 666 ESDA usual suspects vet Stratton Chevrolet on the side oh my cars on all the cars is that Koenigsegg oh this is bad when are we all gonna go unghosted what's the Koenigsegg doing Please tell me he's not ramming. He is. Or maybe he's not. Maybe he's trying to drift. This is just to feel the cars up here. A little more comfortable in the vet. With good reason, this vet has definitely been tuned way more than the S15 has been. I have spent so much more seat time in this vet than that S15. Oh, the only better car that I spent, I think, a little more seat time on might be my FC. There's just so much cars up here. Just a tap. What are we doing? What are we doing, guys? Oh my gosh, online hoppers. Right here for you, Forza Motorsport 7. That was a brake check. Oh yeah. Gear ratio is almost perfect for this track with this vet. There we go. Yep, much more comfortable in this car. Whoop, dang it, you lost it. Grass, not my friend. Oh, force me back. So strong. Oh my, what is going on here? Force of seven, everybody. Whew. That does not like grumble strips. As I see they go on two more. Oh, grass. I probably tried following his line, and his line was very short. Oh, I know that car. Is that Nexi, or however you say his name, from Japan? Oh, boy. Okay, hi. Oh, my. Lexi, I think. Correct me. Oh my gosh, who are you? Hi, hi. You just tried to throw yourself deep in, and that was not a not a good choice by him. Whew. So I want to kick myself back into Forza Motorsport 7 drifting, and it's one hell of a way to do it. hit to lock. Oh, rotate. We gotta settle down for a minute. Gain our composure for the, the first turn. See Denofa. That was a good entry. Bet I wasn't behind somebody. Just roasting the tires and forth. Off the clutch. That man lost it. We go around him. Let's 
See that? I grabbed my e-brake like it was my shifter. I went to like push forward on my e-brake to downshift. It's not the right thing to do. Wait for somebody. Wait for some of these guys. Oh boy, we got a Lambo in the mix. Tried initiating in. I don't know if he's gonna lose it. Thought he was gonna lose it, but he saved it. I'm surrounded by Mustangs. Somebody's gonna do a Mustang thing, and it's him. Mustangs doing Mustang things. Come on, man. Don't do Mustang things. Don't pull out. I'm not Alan Cottondale. Really? Dude, just bumping me everywhere. You don't like Chevys. Two Mustang guys want to be want to be tandems together. That's too much angle. Ooh. Definitely need to uh, get back into Forza 7 drifting. Maybe do some online sessions. Maybe run the Long Beach section with subscribers and stuff like that. So if you guys want to do some online uh, open basically drift sessions here on Forza 7, let me know. I'd be very interested to do some more open drift lobbies and stuff like that here in the future. I didn't think I was going to get that. But we did. We good. Ain't nothing but a thing. So as always, you guys know, follow me on Facebook. Twitch. Twitch. I don't use Twitch much anymore. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. Do appreciate all the support. If you guys are not a subscriber, do tap the subscribe button. I do appreciate all the support from you guys. As always, I uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to finish this turn. I'll be a rabbit. And I will see you guys the next time. Just pegged red line. No handbrake. I'll left foot break. Oh. Oh. Just a boop. We good.